So here's a question from Overcomer I. Um, I'd like to build a, so uh, a VoIP software app, um, and I'd like to use SIP. The problem is I'd also like to run the server from our office so that even without internet connection, employees can communicate over LAN, uh, uh, WAN uh, within the offices. Problem is I'm new to VoIP and really don't know how to go about it, especially the server part. Um, I'd really appreciate your help as my boss is excited about the idea and is asking me for a quote. Um, yeah, brand new to VoIP and you want to deploy it. Oh, yeah, VoIP's not too bad. VoIP's not too bad. It's a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, you know, we've got to have time uh, to, to figure it out. Um, but it, it's definitely something that's doable. So basically, you want to build a VoIP soft phone app. You probably don't want to do that. If you want to build your own soft phone app, Go for you, uh, but um, yeah, that, that that frankly, that's out of my bailiwick. That's out of what I would normally do, and I don't really think it's it's necessary for you. The soft phones, the hard phones, the servers, all of this stuff is already available to you. It is much easier and much more cost effective to simply go out and buy the product. So if you're going to be going, uh, if you've decided that you want to deploy VoIP, voice over IP, within your environment, um, relatively, it's a simple thing for infrastructure. Basically, you have your VoIP server, so a voice over IP server. Uh, a lot of people use uh, something called asterisk or a derivative of asterisk. So let's go over to the computer for a second. So uh, if you go to asterisk.org, you can take a look at this. So basically asterisk is an open, for, uh, open source voice over IP uh, telephone system that has been around for quite a while now. Um, it's been around for Oh, since, I don't know, eight years, nine years, something like that. So, I mean, it is enterprise quality. It's, it does everything that you need to do. So basically, the first thing that I would say is you need to figure, go and you need to learn Asterisk. So you can go, you can download Asterisk, you can start playing with Asterisk, and you can figure it to your heart's content. What I will tell you is when you go into Voice over IP, uh, it is quirky and it can be brutal and it is not a happy thing. <laughs> I was saying, like, setting up a VoIP server your first time sucks. Sucks, 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 But that's all there is to it because basically you're going to have to figure out how everything works if you're going to be setting up asterisk. Um, so if you saw my voice over IP classes, you know, you have to set up subscribers. You have to set up auto attendance. You have to set up call route, and You have to set up all of these things. Every voice over IP server is a little different. So you're just going to have to mess with it. So the first thing is, is you set up that voice over IP server. Most likely you're going to have to pay for a, a voice over IP trunk in order for people to communicate with the outside world. So with voice over IP, when you have that voice over IP server, anybody inside the building will be able to call uh, each other using their, their soft phone. Uh, but anybody on the outside world, you'll need what is called a trunk line to be able to actually dial normal telephone numbers or to get a telephone line in. So you'll have to get a, uh, a SIP trunk. Um, there's a lot of places you can get SIP trunks from. Just do a Google search for SIP trunk. So you have your voice over IP server. Then you need that SIP trunk in order to communicate with the outside world. Uh, and then internally, you either need soft phones or hard phones. A big thing to understand when the voice over IP world is that essentially a soft phone is just a piece of software you install onto your uh, computer or onto your tablet or smartphone. A hard phone, realistically, really, all a hard phone is, is it's a computer that looks like a phone. So it actually has its own little web server and all this kind of stuff built into it. Uh, but essentially a hard phone is a, a use-specific computer and the use of it is a phone. Now, if you're looking for soft phones, uh, the company that I really like that does soft phones is if we go over to um, uh, Counterpath. So counterpath.com. These guys are really cool. Their soft phones are, are just good. I mean, they're just really, really good soft phones. You can go in, they have a, a couple of different options for you. They also have the free, uh, the free one. So there's this X Lite, your first step into the world of unified communications. You can download it for free. Uh, you know, in order to use X Lite, you must have a SIP enabled IP PBX or access to an, blah, 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 blah. So take a look at that. So that is what I would say. What I would say is download and install asterisk onto the, the box that you have. Um, use counterpath for your smartphones and go from there. Um, I would not talk about going into coding or any of that kind of stuff. 
the, the, the servers are already exist. The soft phones already exist. It's already there. You just got to go figure it out. As far as Eli, I need more information. The one thing I will warn you on this is I can't explain this to you in seven minutes or 10 minutes or 30 minutes or even an hour. Like what you're talking about here, I mean, this is just one of those things that, that some of you guys don't, don't always realize is again, there's a reason people like me get paid the amount that we do. You can't even explain this really in like in an hour. Like, so just realize, um, as long as you're good with computers, as long as you understand networking and TCP IP and routing and switches and all that kind of stuff, you will be able to set up and build a voice over IP infrastructure. Just don't expect to be able to build it tomorrow. There's a lot of things that are involved in this. Even be, like I say, even beyond building the, 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 the voice over IP server and getting the, 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 uh, the, the soft phones to work. Again, you have to figure out the call routing. You have to figure out uh, the subscribers. You have to figure out the stations. You have to figure out um, uh, auto attendance. You have to figure out all of these things. And I mean, it just it just takes a lot of searching Google and figuring things out and plugging away. Uh, so you can definitely do it. You can definitely do it. But this is a project I would say. If, you, if, if you're relatively new to all this stuff, I would tell your boss you should be able to get something up and running in about two months. Because um, once it's up and running, it's pretty solid. Because Asterisk is Linux-based. So it's like once you have it running and once you have it configured, it's kind of fun. You, you can just forget about it. Um, but getting it up and running and configured can be a real pain in the butt. So I hope all that makes sense. But yeah, uh, you can definitely do it. Take a look at Asterisk. Take a look at Counterpath. And then just set aside a lot of time. A lot of time. Again, two months. Two months.